What's up Garden Warfare fans, it's Strangelove here, and tomorrow is the big day for the Garden Warfare 2 beta, and I'm sure you guys are so excited. I definitely am. Uh, but for today's video, I actually have a bit of a secret to reveal to you guys uh, that some of you probably already figured out at this point, but I've actually already gotten to play the beta, and that is the footage I have for you today. Uh, I played it about a month ago at a special preview event uh, in San Francisco, and a couple other YouTubers and content creators also got to uh, experience the beta as well. It's been pretty hard keeping it a secret because there's so much awesome stuff that I wanted to share with you guys But starting today we can actually reveal some of our impressions of the beta with all of you Alright, so for today's video I wanted to give you guys a first look at some gameplay on the new Frosty Creek map coming to Garden Warfare 2 And this is actually a snow-covered multiplayer map now this is a really cool map, and no pun intended there, but really I do think this has a really cool design to it. There's a sort of a logging sawmill over on the side, there's a bunch of log cabins, and it takes place in a evening setting, and I can't remember if there's actually a daytime version of this map or not, but I think the moonlighting goes really well with the snow, it sort of accents everything. And uh, this gameplay right here is actually on Team Vanquish, I'm playing as the Mob Corn just for about a minute or so, and then I switch over to the Druid Rose, but the Mob Corn is a really cool variant. I just didn't get a whole lot of gameplay with this character, but I'll probably try to do a character showcase that's more in-depth later on. Uh, and this gameplay is actually my recorded gameplay. This is me playing, even though it says developer or whatever number it says. But yeah, we were allowed to record our own gameplay to give you guys our impressions. So right here I switch over to the Druid Rose, who is the toxic variant for the Rose class. And I actually think I prefer this variant over the default Rose, um, simply because of the toxicity, but she is just really cool to look at. She's really fun to play as and so if you run into me during the beta you probably won't see me as druid rose as much because i already know i love this character and i want to try out some of the other variants but actually now that i think about it i'll probably be wandering around a lot looking for easter eggs and just observing all the little details that they put into the maps and stuff because i kind of do that in this gameplay actually i'm looking up at the sky and trying to see if there's some cool constellations up there uh there's just some so much detail in this game that i just appreciate all of the effort that they put into designing these maps for us now, something that I really like about the Druid Rose, or maybe it's just the Rose class in general, is that when you fire her primary weapon, in this case it's the Toxic Volley, as long as you have an opponent in your crosshairs when you're firing your basic shot, your basic shots will hit them, uh, even if you're moving back and forth, because your basic shots sort of stick or link to the enemy. Uh, so what I mean by that is, normally when you fire a basic shot at somebody uh, at a distance, if you're moving back and forth, it's probably going to miss them, it's going to go right by their heads, but that's not the case with the Rose. Now, as you can see, when Druid Rose has a zombie lined up in her crosshairs lit up in red, she can fire her toxic volley, and all of her toxic shots sort of arc toward the enemy, even if she's moving back and forth, and I just really like that feature. Now, as far as her abilities go, what you want to do with the Rose is you want to find a group of zombies, use the time snare on them to trap them in place, and then immediately follow that up with Godify, because you can actually Godify multiple zombies at once, which is what I did in this gameplay here. Now, whenever I'd Godify somebody, I'd normally let them run around as a goat, mainly because I thought it was funny, but keep in mind that when they are a goat, they can still attack you, so uh, you might want to use your Arcane Enigma to get away, or if you're playing another character and you might be on low health, keep in mind that a goat can do some damage to you. Now at the end of every match, the top four or five players who receive boasts get to show off their customizations and their gestures as sort of a reward for doing well, and I thought that was just a really awesome feature that fits the game perfectly. Alright, so I wanted to show you a bit more of the Frosty Creek map, but I didn't have enough gameplay, so this footage is actually courtesy of Zero X Fusions. He also played as the Druid Rose, but this time it's on Suburbanation mode, and as you can see, he uses the same pro strat that I told you guys about to use the Time Snare plus the Godify for a successful Godification and to defend Capture Point B. Now what I like about Frosty Creek, besides the fact that it just looks cool and has a neat visual aesthetic, is that the layout seems like it flows really well. There's a lot of different ways to go up a different path, you don't get stuck anywhere, plus there's a lot of verticality because uh, there's buildings and cabins that you can go on top of, and there's also a lot of different lines of sight that you have to be aware of, so even if you're playing as a ranged character or an up-close melee character like Super Brains or something, uh, you should be able to find your groove pretty well on this map, at least from what I experienced of it. 
All right, everyone, that just about wraps up this preview of the Frosty Creek multiplayer map coming to Garden Warfare 2. I don't recall off the top of my head if there's any, like, dynamic or interactive elements in this map, but that doesn't mean that they're not there, so keep that in mind when you're playing the beta. And I'm actually so excited to play the beta with all of you, and I will be playing on the Xbox One, so I'll probably leave my gamer tag in the description below so you can keep an eye out for me in-game. Now, even though it's really awesome that we get to play in the beta and it's going to be a ton of fun, keep in mind that the purpose of the beta is for PopCap to gauge everybody's feelings about different elements of the game, and if there's anything that sort of stands out to you as either negative or positive, make sure to send them a message and let them know what you think of the beta, because they're ultimately trying to make the game better and improve upon things uh, that need improvement or make things enhanced that are already really awesome. So make sure to keep that in mind when you're playing the beta. Alright you guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of the new Frosty Creek map, and since I showed you quite a bit of the Druid Rose gameplay, also let me know what you think of the Druid Rose, and if you're going to be giving her a try during the beta. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be posting more videos of the beta itself, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're looking forward to more Garden Warfare 2 content. Alright everyone, leave me a comment, stay strange, and I'll catch you all at the next video.